Pursuit of the Gun Show. Hey, it's Josh here from Top Welcome back to another episode of In Pursuit of the Gun Show. And today I have with me Michael Kimura from Fusion Health Studios and we're going to be hitting a third arm workout. You're going to be doing this in addition to the regular program that we've gone through so far. This is to increase the volume or the frequency of your training. But before we get into it, uh, Mike, what tips can you give the viewers for getting big arms? You've got to see this guy's arms, they're monstrous. Uh, what would be some of the, the basic tips you'd give for, uh, for arm development? Uh, three major tips I would give are compound exercises, time under tension, and strict form. Uh, if you use those in a, in a good training program, you're going to get amazing results. So compound exercises, and you're focusing more on like uh, dips and chin-ups, yep. rather than all isolation and work. All isolation. Work. So that's yeah. why in our, in, our, in our main program, you always want to incorporate those big compound movements. Uh, in addition to the isolation work. Uh, and then time under tension, you're talking about uh, making sure that your, your set lasts for a certain amount of time, right? Absolutely. So working uh, primarily on the negative or the eccentric repetition part of the, the repetition instead of just pumping it through like one, one second per repetition up and down. So that's what we've been talking about so far with the tempo that we've been working with. And then strict form. So not getting as much out of heavy cheek curls as you would out of a strict curl with lighter weight. Reduce your weight and just uh, keep the form nice and strict and everything should be okay. Right, because muscles don't really know how much weight you're using, they just know how much tension they're under. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be hitting the mid-range now. We've worked on extreme uh, extension, extreme flexion for the buys and tries. Now we're hitting something in the mid-range. So let's get into it. Okay, All right. let's do it. So we're starting out with straight barbell curls, a tried and true old school arm builder. And like we talked about, you're not gonna focus as much on the weight as you are on creating massive tension with every repetition. So although you can go heavier with mid-range exercises like this, uh, as compared to the extreme ranges we looked at in the first two videos, um, you're gonna make sure that you focus on the form and the tension. So as you can see here, I'm controlling the negative and at the very bottom of each repetition, I'm contracting the triceps. So that makes sure I'm getting full range of motion. Uh, so I'm squeezing hard on the way up, controlling the eccentric, squeezing into full extension. Very good, Josh. The triceps exercise we're using in this workout is the close grip bench press. Now, I also like to use lying head cavers. It's a, a great isolation exercise for the triceps, um, but the close grip bench press is uh, turning it in more into a compound movement, which you can handle a little bit more weight in, and it, it really hits the triceps hard as well. Like before, you're, you're still focusing on the eccentric and exploding on the concentric and trying to create as much tension in the triceps as you can on every repetition. So you want to superset these exercises for the required sets and repetitions and then perform a drop set to complete fatigue after your last set. In my next video, I'll be showing you some advanced training techniques you can use to take your arm training and your arm development to the next level. So stay tuned for that. And until then, you better be training hard. So 